The certainty that with 5 euros, here on the Molise coast, wide open on the Adriatic Sea in southeast Italy, you could be served and revered, enjoying an arancino, a marinara pizza and a beer. Comfortably seated at the table operating from the 70s of the last century. At the corner near the back door, which acts as an air conditioner. Since Mrs. Vilma and her busy husband, perpetually armed with a ballpoint pen and notepad, have retired, has vanished, but being the kitchen brazenly in sight. I have perfectly acquired the technique of spreading the dough with elbows and forearm rolls, and frying in corn oil in an electric oven which put a strain on the electrical system, and that in peak moments it often gave out romantic blackouts by candlelight. The wait ranged from a few minutes in the winter months to infinity in the summer months. But in any case, time flew by thanks to involuntary entertainment given by the alternation of resident customers and tourists dedicated to the most varied activities. How to count the money of the daily takings, change the filters on the portable respirator, scold the waiter for the burnt pizza, but passed off as well done and yell at the cathode ray tube Vivar TV. The answer to the TV quiz that would have made him a millionaire, but at the end of November. After the short closure for the olive harvest and the ritual of the pig sacrifice, at the reopening, for the most loyal ones, the reward of being able to taste new oil, various sausages, just seasoned in warm scones, it was to be forgiven for the small inconveniences suffered. So the Firestone surely will not be able to replace all this. But maybe it will help the home oven to cook. Any improvised pizzas in the best way and at the lowest cost. The intent is to raise the maximum standard oven temperature. Of 250 degrees Celsius to over 300, perhaps close to 400, for cooking in a few minutes. Of a traditional Neapolitan type pizza. The oven in question is a glem of a few years. Of Italian production and standards, in stainless steel, gas and with electric grill. After turning the oven on at maximum power, I place the refractory cordyrite stone on the grill. On the bottom of the oven, practically a few centimeters from the gas burner. I put an iron pan upside down on the central shelf in order to reduce the room of the oven to be heated and I place a Chinese oven thermometer for a few euros on the refractory stone to check the actual temperature. After about half an hour of preheating the thermometer has reached full scale, about 315 degrees Celsius, and the graduated dial has been completely blackened. Therefore probably the stone will have reached a temperature between 350 degrees Celsius and 400 while the oven chamber will be at about 300 degrees Celsius. The cooking, according to the regulations of traditional Neapolitan pizza, it must take place inside the oven at the temperature of the stone floor in the sky. Of about 430 minus 480 degrees Celsius for about 60 to 90 seconds. After informing the pizza, with the help of an old modified aluminum pan, to simulate a shovel, even if I left the parchment paper as the pizza, for too long it has a hole in it, having stretched it out, for the convenience of video recording. Before heating the oven, I check that the bottom of the pizza is cooked after about 2 minutes. But to better uniform the cooking mainly on the upper part of the cornice. I also do about 2 minutes of grill, placing the pizza on the top shelf. In the oven the transmission of heat, without going into the details of the laws of thermodynamics. And wave theory, occurs simultaneously by conduction. Given by the surface where the dish rests, convection given by the air and the steam. Contained in it an irradiation given by the electric resistances or the gas burner. Therefore the refractory stone after having accumulated heat has a relevant role above all in increasing the oven. The ability to transmit heat for conduction to food. Given the quality of the flour, the expired yeast that I use. And fast leavening, cooking is good, with hints of speckling both on the underside. Than on the upper one, but soft, flexible and also cooked internally. Having forgotten to put the salt in the dough, I also serve some of it to Chiquino the cat. Called Pezzotto, known as the ululator, who has high blood pressure. I try to clean the seasoning residues that have charred on the stone. Using a damp cloth and abrasive sponges, but without any type of detergent. Having some prepackaged legal baguettes I try to cook them on the refractory stone. 
The directions on the package say to finish cooking. After having moistened them with 10 minutes in a static oven at 180 degrees Celsius. Cordierite is the most used material in refractory stones, it is a constituted rock. From iron, aluminum and magnesium, it has a fairly smooth surface compared to other types of stone. But it is also porous, it takes longer to heat up, but keeps the accumulated heat longer. Limiting the sudden changes in temperature due to the opening of the door. And therefore for the home oven it is probably the best choice for cooking leaven products. It is very resistant to high temperatures. Totally non-toxic and thanks to the porosity it absorbs humidity facilitating cooking. But do not overdo it with water when cleaning nor wash it in the dishwasher. In the oven configured to reach high temperatures, the baguettes practically chart on the outside. After a few seconds even if he also turned them, therefore for leaven products, which require delicate cooking, especially if pre-cooked, is better. Place the refractory stone on the central shelf and set the oven at the recommended temperature. All in all, removing the burnt part they seem cooked well internally too. Probably being already pre-cooked and having little water, the water vapor buffer was not created. Which acts as a non-stick between the baguettes and the refractory stone, they stuck more easily. Creating more residue of burnt dough than this time. After the stone has completely cooled in the oven, I simply remove with a spatula, a brush and moistened abrasive sponges, but without exaggerating with the pressure and the rubbing and with the water. To further remove the residues I also use the technique that uses pyrolysis, which thanks to temperatures above 400 degrees Celsius activates a combustion process which burns all food residues, fats and incrustations present, turning them into ash. Some ovens are self-cleaning and therefore able to activate pyrolysis. But even if the oven in question is not, this is what the stone looks like. After trying to activate pyrolysis by leaving the oven at maximum temperature. For about an hour with the stone on the bottom, so maybe to keep encrustations under control. I will try to alternate the facade of the stone with each use. As it is not unbreakable, it is a good idea to put it back in the sales box. Thanks for watching the video so far. I decline any responsibility for any damage to persons, animals and things that may have occurred. To those who want to imitate the procedure which is for entertainment purposes only. I hope I have been helpful in having pleasantly entertained you. If you haven't already comment, share, like, give a super thank you. Check out the other videos and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for the support. Bye bye.